If let's say you're a vegetarian, there are people say, I don't want to kill animals. I, I don't have a problem with that. They probably have a, a, a humane mouse trap in their basement. They don't want to snap the neck of the mouse. So they capture the mouse. You got to check on it every couple of days because they dry out real quick. So, so there it is. And they set it loose into the wild where they have guaranteed it will be swallowed whole by an owl or picked apart by all manner of woodland predators. The average life expectancy of a mouse in the wild is nine to 18 months. So. The best thing you can do with a mouse is leave it in your basement. It'll live up to six years there. That's how you protect the life. But that's not what they're doing. Meanwhile, the house is made of wood from 50 trees with floorboards and two by fours and structural members and, and trees. Each tree every day produces 15 times the mass of the mouse in oxygen. And the tree is home to birds and insects and fungus and, and squirrels. Who do you think nature cares more about, your mouse or the tree? And you'll say, well, the mouse has a beating heart. The tree doesn't. Maybe the tree doesn't need a beating heart. That's your criterion for what's important. If you cut a tree, does it not bleed? If you cloak a tree, does it not suffocate? If you cut off its nutrients, does it not wither and die? And some trees live a thousand years. The giant sequoias in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, but you're gonna cut them all down, build your house, and save a one ounce chubby mouse.